Well, dude. Looks like we got ourselves a customer. Valley Motel. How can I be of service to you? Looking for a room, are you? Well, if it's a room you want, it's a room you'll get. Assuming, of course, we got the, the vacancy, but let me go ahead and check on that for you right now. Give me one moment. Where is that log book? total of uh, 28 rooms and out of those we got room uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, We got all 28 rooms available tonight. You can look. You can pick any one. So, how about it? Let me get you checked in here. Excuse me one moment while I start up this here computer. screen now so in the meantime I might as well ask you what brings you in town business leisure tourism I mean uh, Vulture Valley ain't like no other place I ever been well to be fair I ain't never been anywhere else but if you ask me it's the most beautiful place on earth so here to see the sights oh really well Wish I could say that was a, an uncommon occurrence, but to tell you the truth, I see it almost every, almost every night, really. See, uh, Jack's over there. He's the only gas station in town, and uh, unfortunately, he cannot be convinced to leave the lights on past sundown. I think he uses too much electricity. You know, I keep telling him, you know, Jack. If you don't leave the lights on past sundown, you're missing out on half, maybe more, more than half of the customers who might be coming through. People like you who ain't seen a gas station in 50 miles and won't see another for another 50 miles. And if Jack's is the only option, they're gonna have to stop at his place. But he doesn't want the money. He doesn't think it's gonna outweigh the cost of electricity. See, a few years ago, he, uh, I got him to agree to you know, give it a try turn on the lights on after sunset and you know he did it 
for about 15 minutes. You see, uh, I caught him staring at the electric meter going up real slow. And uh, couldn't even take 15 minutes of it. He turns to me and he says, I ain't never gonna financially recover from this. Well, we can agree to disagree, but the truth of the matter is, if he's gonna close up and we get into situations like these right here, this means more money for me, right? So, I can't complain, but I suppose that may be a bit insensitive to say right to your face, so I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna just change the subject. You stand still a little bit. What we got? 90, no, oh, well, close enough. All right, well then. So, I guess it wants a password now. Let's see, where was that password? Uh, now so yes that brings us to a fork in the road we can either just uh, do this in a formal way not take any of your information and just you know let you have a room or probably a silly idea but do you have any ideas because I'm pretty sure the government doesn't like when I just let people have the place gotta have some records somewhere and uh, maybe, maybe if even you don't know the password, one of your ideas might jog my memory, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, so. What's your idea? Oh, you are a jokester, you know that? So, so. You serious? Real now. Well, maybe your uh, maybe your sense of humor is a bit different than mine. But let me be clear. I may not be the smartest guy in the room, but I can tell you, I ain't gonna make my password password. You think I'm that dumb? Seriously? You know what? Let me prove it to you. I'm gonna enter that right now, and I'm gonna show you. That does not work. My password is not P-A-S-S, -S, you know, it's not password. Come on. So, watch closely. We got P-A-S-S-S-W-O-R-D. Enter. Invalid password. What I tell you? Don't think I'm that stupid. Oh, really? So, not only do you 
think I'm so stupid. I'm gonna make my password password, but you think I'm too dumb to even spell it correctly? You think I put three S's in there? No. That ain't the case. Let me do it one more time just to prove you. Prove you wrong. Here we go. We got P. A. S. S. W. O. R. D. Enter. Well then. Let's just uh we should put that behind us and get you checked in here. Just give me one moment while I pull up the uh, the application or the software, whatever people are calling it these days. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This thing sure as hell ain't broke. Alright, so let me get some basic info from you real quick. First of all, what is your name? say so myself. Any name I ever heard, but that's the beauty of life, right? Variety. The spice of life. Well then, now, next up is your phone number. doesn't have a field in this program here I guess it's a I guess this thing predicts email or whatever but we need your email address you know or I'm sure you understand either way let me just go ahead and scribble it down here all right that is a uh, security team here I like to make sure no one's uh, trespassing or loitering on the premises you know better safe than sorry and uh, they get real wary if they see anyone with a license plate we don't have marked down anywhere so just don't want them uh, looking all suspicious at your car so but that's okay I'll just take a picture of it later Next up, next up. Right, so now we need your 
home address for uh, tax purposes, you know, whatever. Uh -huh. All right. Totally forgot 
there is also a uh, processing fee of uh, yeah, four dollars. Yeah, okay with that. All right. Keep neglecting to mention there is one last fee. That is the. Uh, Shipping and handling. That's right, yeah. It's a long story, but that is a necessary fee, unfortunately, and we do have to pass it along to the customer. I just want to be as transparent as possible. And that will come out to an additional um, uh, $3.99. $99. Oh, 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 what, what? You don't think you can afford that? Oh, are you sure? You sure you don't want to stay here? Because, uh, let me tell you, if you want, if you want to stay here, then uh, you got two other options. First option being uh, try and make it to the next gas station 50 miles over and run out of gas, perhaps. Or you just go on sleep in the car in the parking lot, but uh, let me tell you, People around these parts, they, uh, they've been known to not take too kindly to people just kind of sitting around in their cars overnight. I've heard many a, many a tale of, uh, well, let's not get into specifics, but let's just say there's a reason we got a security team here. So, neither risk it out there or pay a little, little fee being sure that you're safe. What's it gonna be? Very wise choice, if I do say so myself. So, that will be room number seven. I'll get the payment from you in the morning. Now, let me just uh, go on ahead, get you a key card, and you'll be on your merry way. Where is the key card? Seriously, they won't hurt you. 